In his State of the Nation address on Monday, President Dr. Mukweti Masisi revealed that the recommendations of the Dibuta Law Commission of Inquiry into Constitutional Review will be made public in the coming few days or weeks. We are aware of the process to comprehensively review the constitution of our republic started with the appointment of the Presidential Commission of Inquiry into the review of the constitution on the 19th December 2021. I assure you that this process will continue to be undertaken in an open and transparent manner to its final conclusion up to the supreme lawmaking body, Parliament. The report of the Presidential Commission of Inquiry into the review of the constitution of Botswana will be made public immediately we take a look at potential candidates for top five topics of the recommendations. At this point, it is impossible to take a position on which of them will go for national referendum. Direct election of the president is a hot potato that will require a lot of work to be done between December 2022 and the next general elections in, in October 2024. It will need a lot of laws to be reviewed or amended to ensure that the system balances the presidential powers against the power of the people. There have been arguments that the current system gives more powers to the president. However, there have not been any examples of countries where the president does not have powers to act and take the country forward. Some of the countries that practice direct election of the president are Zimbabwe, the Democratic Republic of Congo, and Tanzania. Botswana currently uses the first past the post system, which some people say produces results that are not always a true reflection of the people's aspirations. In the FTPT system, the winner takes all, regardless of whether the gap between competing parties is insignificant or not. Those who support the PR system say it affords all members of society to be represented in decision-making processes from councils to the National Assembly. South Africa and Lesotho use the PR system. This is a very issue that has dominated discussions for a while as some people argue that the process is not transparent enough. There are calls for interviews of candidates for the bench and heads of oversight institutions to be held in public and for the National Assembly to have the final say. The appointment of the Ombudsman, Director Generals for DCEC, DIS, DPP, FIA, Nbifira and others have also been debated during consultative meetings by the Debutte Law Commission. The question that still remains unanswered is who is the final decision maker in the National Assembly. Although nobody has come forward to fight for the job, it seems majority of Botswana want the position of handmen to remain relevant in society. With violent crimes going up every day, including murder, it is highly unlikely that the nation will vote against the continuation of death penalty. Those who support death penalty say it is a deterrence, while those who are against it say there is no evidence to prove that. According to Botswana Police latest police statistics, the country records an average of five cases of murder a week, which may be interpreted as over 300 murders a year. While we have not conducted any scientific research, public discussions indicate that the support for death penalty could be estimated at 90 against 10 who oppose it. While it is confirmed that over 60% of the African population is made up of youth, including Botswana, young people do not have time to take care of their aging parents due to economic engagements. An increase in mental health conditions such as dementia has also amplified calls for the government to establish care homes for the elderly. The practice is common in developed countries in Europe, Asia and America.